Welcome to our lecture online. There is one more component that we should talk about when it comes to our atmosphere and how it protects us, especially that ozone layer that allows a tiny amount of UVB radiation to get through. The UVB radiation is one of the forms of UV radiation coming from the sun, and we've already learned that UVC is the most dangerous type, but that gets stopped in the upper layers of the atmosphere. UVB is next, that's the type of radiation that causes sunburns, and only a tiny amount of that makes it through that ozone layer. And UVA, well, we don't want to be exposed to too much over a long period of time, but it doesn't cause immediate sunburns, that all of that tends to get through the ozone layer. But that very important portion of the UV radiation that would cause severe sunburns, if all of it were to get through, even five minutes exposed to the sun in the summer, would cause severe sunburns, but we're protected by the ozone layer. But then the converse of that is that we need that UVB radiation because it turns out in the skin of the human body, we have this molecule called 7-dehydrocholesterol. And what does it do? Well, it turns out that when it's exposed to UVB radiation, and only UVB radiation between the, the regions of 282 to 310 nanometers, which is a subset of the range of UVB radiation, when that molecule is exposed to UVB radiation, it produces cholecalciferol, which is also known as D3, vitamin D3. And vitamin D3 is essential for our bodies to fight respiratory diseases and other diseases. But in particular, colds, flu, pneumonia, etc. All those diseases, our body can fight those off very effectively if it has enough vitamin D. Now, it turns out you don't want to ex be exposed to too much UVB radiation because then you will get sunburned. So it's a kind of a, a just the right amount, and it turns out that if you're exposed for 10 minutes to the summer sun, just on the hands and the face, let's say you go out for a walk for 10 minutes, and it's a sunny day, and your face and your hands are receiving sunlight, that is enough exposure to provide 10 micrograms of vitamin D. Now, 10 micrograms is the absolute minimum daily requirement. It's probably healthier if you get more of that. So maybe going out for a 30-minute walk, or maybe you have your arms exposed or you're wearing shorts and you have your legs exposed in the summer sun, you can get a fair amount of vitamin D every day by just going out for a walk in the sun and making sure that you don't go out for hours at a time, expose your skin for hours to the sun because then you might get sunburn, which is of course not a good thing. But just imagine, our health depends upon the receiving of just the right amount of UVB radiation, and it turns out that ozone layer lets, lets through just the right amount for us to be healthy. If it let through all of it, we wouldn't be able to go outside, except for maybe a few minutes at a time, and if none of it were to come through, then of course we wouldn't be receiving vitamin D, and then our bodies wouldn't be able to fight off these infections. Wow, it's just absolutely miraculous that we're alive in this environment with the perfect atmosphere, with that ozone layer, letting through just the right amount of UVB for us to be able to be healthy by receiving enough vitamin D3, vitamin D3 by getting exposed to that small amount of UVB radiation. It's absolutely amazing. And again, there's another example of why it's so miraculous that we are here in existence on this earth with everything seemingly just perfect for our existence. Hmm? Nudist camps. <laughs> Nudist camps. I'm sure those are very healthy people. <laughs> Nudist camps. However, again, too much sunlight is probably not a good thing. It has to be the right amount. But not enough is actually very detrimental to your health. So you need sun exposure, at least on a daily basis if possible. And if you can't have sun exposure, for example, when you live in a very cold climate like in Canada or Siberia or Alaska or a place like that, in the wintertime, you need to make sure you get enough vitamin D. And that's why they have UV lamp exposure sometimes to be able to provide that additional vitamin D that you need. Supplements. Or supplements. That's right. Supplements will work as well. 